what you want to look at here now is if I have 9 minus 2x squared, what's the degree that you see on the 2x squared? Uh, two. 2. So if you look at this guy, does he have any x's? No. no. So the degree here for this term is a degree of what? <laughs> this guy has no x's. So what's his degree then? Oh, no. No. None. What number represents none? Zero. zero. So he's a degree zero. Now, this none right here, that is called a monomial. 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 Right. Latin, and whenever you see the word mon, or the prefix mon, that means one. Okay, so he's one term, right? So 9 is a monomial. This right here, the negative 2x squared, what would I call that as well? A monomial as well. So you have a negative 2x squared and a positive 9 nomial. Are you guys okay if I use that word nomial now? Okay, if I put two monomials together, what does that form? Together, these form a bi. What does bi mean? Two. Nomial. So is everybody clear on what a binomial is now? Okay. Needs two nomials together. Okay. And in this case, two what kind of nomials? Monomials. So if you take two monomials, you put them together to form a binomial. So when you talk about this whole thing right here, this entire thing right here is the binomial. So if I wanted to write this binomial in descending order, according to the degree, what would be the descending order? You take the highest power first, right? Look at the sign that's attached with it, so what do I write? Negative 2x squared, and then what else would need to come after it? Plus 9. So are we all good with how to write a polynomial in descending order? What would ascending order mean? Uh, instead of going from largest to smallest, it would go smallest to largest. Okay. So descending degree is when you start with the largest degree, go down to the smallest. Ascending is when you start with the smallest and go up to the largest degree. So are we all clear on that? Okay. Guys, if you Take a look at example number two where you're actually adding polynomials together. Here's the trick that you want to remember. When you're adding polynomials, and what do you think the word poly means? Miss Waters. More than one, multiple. So you have monomial means one. Binomial would mean two. Trinomial would mean three. three. And then listen to how you say four. It's a quad nomial quad nomial okay and then after that you can just start saying polynomial so if you have four nomials or four monomials put together you would have a quad nomial but we need to take a look at how to add that finding the sum in example two of a so if you have three x to the fourth minus two x cubed plus five x squared you see how they have that in parentheses okay that is one one uh, how many does it have? Three. Three, so it's a trinomial. So this is a trinomial plus, you have 7x squared plus 9x cubed minus 2x in parentheses. So this is a trinomial on the left plus a trinomial on the right. Now guys, what I'm going to tell you to do here to keep yourself organized, you want to change this to look like you used to do addition back in second grade where you have the columns, okay? And the way that you're going to sort those columns is by the degree. Okay? What's the biggest degree that you see in all of these trinomials? Nine. The biggest degree. Nine. The biggest degree you see is the four right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a column for a fourth degree, a third degree, a second degree, a first degree. Do I need to worry about degree zero? No. No. So what you do is you rewrite this guy right here and you say, okay. I see a fourth degree monomial in there. Do I see a third degree? Yeah. So then you write down your third degree. Do I see a second degree? Okay. Do, you, do I need to put the plus here? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. I don't necessarily have to, but it might help you 
But if you're going to put the plus, make sure that the plus is closer to the 5 so that you can see you're not saying this plus falls in the middle and you're going that you're really adding. What you're doing is you're looking at each column by itself. Okay, now look at the trinomial on the right. What's the largest degree? Three. The 3 right here with the 9x cubed. So which column should I put that in? I should put it underneath the negative 2x cubed because it has the same degree. So I take this 9x cubed right here. Does everyone see that? Okay. What's the next degree that I see that's the next highest after degree 3? Degree 2. Where should I put that? Under the 5x. Okay. Should, do I need to worry about this being a positive sign here? No. Okay, and that's where you kind of go, this is where, it, that's up to you. It would not be wrong to do this if you wanted to. It would not be wrong to do that, okay? And then, what about this negative 2x? One. 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 It's a degree 1, and right now we don't have a degree 1 column, so literally you're just going to say negative 2x off to the side because there's nothing in that column. Does everyone see that? Okay, now. What you do is just like you did in elementary school. You just add going straight down. So is there anything for this 3x to the 4th too? So he just comes straight down. Now careful, negative 2 and a positive 9. That's a positive 7x, right? So now is where you actually start. You must start including your positives and negatives in your final answer. 7x for the what? Third. Third. Remember, when you add, you do not change powers. When you add or subtract, you do not change power. Okay? What about right here? Plus, plus 12x to the second. Does this guy have anything to add to it? No. So are we good on adding and subtracting? Okay, guys. When you are looking at this particular example right here, you are going to set this up exactly the same way as you did for addition. How am I going to set this up? <coughs> okay, you look at this guy right here on the left. Is he a binomial, a trinomial, a monomial, or a polynomial? He's a binomial, so what's the highest degree? Two. 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 So I make a column for the two, degree two. Do I need to worry about a degree one? Yes. 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 And it's a negative 9x. Do you guys see how I'm putting that negative sign closer to the 9? Yes. Remember, this whole line is 3x squared minus 9x, but when you're treating it as columns, keep the signs together. Now, what you're going to do on the bottom here, you are going to copy this trinomial that you see on the right right here. What's the highest degree that you see? Two. two. So is there already a degree two column? Yes. yes. So you put the two x squared underneath that. What's the next degree that you see in that trinomial? Negative five. So negative five x. Okay. And then the next degree after that? Zero. No. It's a zero degree. Is there a zero degree column right now? No. Now this is where I'm going to say definitely get into the habit of putting those positives and negatives there. Okay. So does everybody see how I have? All of these right here. Okay, now, whenever you have subtraction, whenever you have subtraction, you do this setup, and then the next step is actually called a negation. This negative sign in the front means that you are going to negate everything that comes after it. And all a negation means is to do the exact opposite. So guys, what is the opposite of positive 2x squared? Negative. Negative. negative 2x. So this positive sign really changes to a negative. negative. Does everyone see that? Okay. What's the negation of negative 5x? Positive. positive. So this becomes a positive. What's the negation of a positive 6? Negative. Negative. negative 6. And guys, once you have done your negation, you treat this exactly as you would an addition problem. Okay, once you do the negation, treat it exactly as if it's an addition problem. So as an addition problem now, what would 3x squared plus a negative 2x squared be? It would be a 1x squared, positive or negative? Positive. Okay, so you would say positive x squared. Would it be wrong to write the positive 1 right there? No. No. Have I said that this is my final answer yet? No, so it is totally okay to write that there. What's the next thing here in the negative 9x plus positive 5x? Negative 
That would be a negative 4x. Okay, and then is there anything to happen with this negative 6 over here? No, so you just bring that negative 6 down. And would we write a positive 1 in front of something? No. no. So what's my final answer going to look like? A squared minus 4 a minus 4. Plus 6? Plus six? Minus, minus, minus 6. That is your final answer there. 